Let's try to solve this quadratic. Now the hint is that it's unsolvable. So right away, if it's unsolvable, we say no solution. Let's try anyways. x using the quadratic formula equals minus b plus minus the square root of b squared, 3 squared is 9, minus 4ac, a is 1, c is 3, all over 2a, 2 times 1. So notice the radical symbol. The inside is called the discriminant, and we have 9 minus negative 4 times 3 is 12. So we have negative 3, all over 2. And in math, we can't take the square root of negative number. So right away, we know there's no solution. Now, for enrichment, we can rewrite this square root of negative 3 as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 3. And this, by definition, is an imaginary number, i. So although there's no real solution, we could write that x equals minus 3 plus minus root 3i all over 2. Let's find the equation of this parabola. Notice how the vertex is 2 right, 1, 2, and 2 down. So the vertex is 2 comma negative 2. We're going to use the form y is equals to a, x plus minus b squared plus minus c. And we place the vertex coordinates for the b and the c values. So we have y equals a. We don't know what the a value is. That's the vertical stretch. We have x minus 2 squared minus 2. Minus 2 actually means 2 units to the right. When it's plus 2, the vertex moves 2 units left from the origin. And minus 2 means 2 units down. So we're very close to having the equation. Now, in order to find out a, we substitute 0, 2. So the x value is 0 and the y value is 2. So we have 2 equals a. 0 minus 2 squared minus 2. 0 minus 2 is negative 2, and when we square it out, it's going to be 4. So 2 equals a times 4, which is 4a minus 2. We throw the negative over. We have 2 plus 2 is 4. And we realize, dividing both sides by 4, that a equals 1. So the actual equation is y equals 1 times x minus 2 squared minus 2 or just the y equals x minus 2 squared minus 2. Now let's find the equation of this parabola. Notice how the vertex is 1, 2 units down. So this is at minus 2. And what we have here is we go 1 unit to the right from the vertex, and we go 1, 2 units up. Normally, the parabola is simply 1 unit right, 1 unit up which is from the origin 1 comma 1. But because we know that we're going 2 units up, it's going to be stretched by a factor of 2, 1 comma 2. So we write the equation y equals the a value is 2. We have x squared minus 2. This is technically x minus 0 squared minus 2, because the parabola does not move left or right. It just moves simply down. So we have y equals, if we wanted to, we could write a, x squared minus 2. We could have substituted some point, such as 1, comma 0, into x and y. The y value is 0. The x value is 1. So we have 1 squared minus 2. Throwing the 2 over, we have a times 1 squared is just a. So indeed, the a value is 2. So the equation is y equals 2 x squared minus 2. Let's find the equation. The parabola is 1, 2, 3 to the right. So we write y equals a x minus 3 squared plus 0. We don't have to write plus 0 because it doesn't go up or down. Now, it appears that a has to be negative because it's a sad face parabola. Let's substitute some other point. Notice how the parabola cuts through this point here, as well as this point here. Let's just use this one here. This is 0, comma, minus 3. 1, 2, 3. y is minus 3. 
and we have x is 0. So we have 0 minus 3 squared plus 0 we're not going to write. Negative 3 squared is 9, so we have 9a equals minus 3, dividing both sides by 9. We have negative 3 over 9, which is negative 1 third. We found the a value. Thus, y equals negative 1 third x minus 3 squared. This is our equation. Let's try one more. Now, previously, we attacked the vertex. And it looks like the vertex is halfway between 0 and negative 1. So if we really wanted to, we probably could figure out the equation. Let's just try this. We'll try y is equals to a x plus 1 half squared. And this looks between 4 and 5. So let's try 4.5 or 9 over 2. And to find the a value, let's substitute this point, any point. 1 comma 0. So we have 0 equals a x is 1 plus 1 half squared plus 9 over 2. And 1 plus 1 half is 1 1.5 or 3 over 2. What is 3 over 2 squared? It's 9 over 4 and we're multiplying by a. Let's throw this 9 over 2 to the left. We have negative 9 over 2. And we'll divide both sides by 9 over 4. So when we divide both sides by the coefficient of a, we have 9 over 2 divided by 9 over 4 on the left-hand side. So a equals negative 9 over 2 multiplied by the reciprocal, which is 4 over 9. These 9's cancel, and negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So we found the equation. This is y equals negative 2, it's a sad face, x plus 1 half squared plus 4.5, or 9 over 2. Let's try this equation another way. It looks like the x-intercepts hit very nicely across two integers. We have negative 2 and 1. So let's find the equation in this form. y equals a x plus 2 bracket x minus 1. These are the factors, and they correspond to the roots. And we're not quite sure what the a value is. So we'll substitute one other point that's not on the x-axis. Let's plug in the y-intercept, which appears to be 0, 4. So the y value is 4 and the x value is 0, so we have 0 plus 2, 0 minus 1. We have 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So we have negative 2a equals 4. Dividing both sides by negative 2, we have a equals 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. So the equation is y equals negative 2 x plus 2 x minus 1. And if we expand it out, it should be the same as this expression over here. So why don't we try? We have y equals minus 2. We have x squared. Minus x plus 2x is plus x. We have 2 times negative 1 is minus 2. And so we have the equation y equals minus 2x squared, using distribution, minus 2x plus 4. We now use Desmos to verify that this red equation is the same as the blue equations that we just figured out. And by hiding and showing the blue equation, indeed we see they're the same. We could also expand this completed square form and realize that we have the same graph.